Linda L. Addison is the Global Head of Dispute Resolution and Litigation at Norton Rose Fulbright, the third largest law practice in the world. She has worked tirelessly to pave the way for women lawyers. She has been named one of the 50 most influential women lawyers in America and one of the 50 most powerful women in New York. Trial lawyers are the surgeons of the legal profession. Clients come to me when there's a problem, when there's a dispute that needs to be solved, and ask me to help them extricate themselves from it, either by negotiating a settlement or, when necessary, by trying their cases. Addison was lead counsel for Handy Dan Hardware in the case that successfully challenged the constitutionality of the Texas Blue Law, leading to its repeal in 1985, and making it possible for Texans to shop on Sunday. The truth is that case was perceived to be a loser. I think if anyone had thought that that was a good case or that that case was winnable, it would not have been given to a woman. The morning after I won the Blue Law case, I must say that I woke up feeling like I must be the best lawyer in the state of Texas. And in those days, before there was an internet, I ran out early in the morning to get the Houston Chronicle to see what the, what the newspaper had said about my case, knowing it was going to be on the front page. And it was on the front page, but it was the second lead story that day. The lead story that day was that Earl Campbell had been traded to New Orleans. Addison is the embodiment of the American dream. Her parents immigrated to America in 1946 after surviving the Nazi concentration camps. As they raised their family in Houston, her parents stressed the importance of education in building a successful and productive life. That lesson had a profound effect on Addison and motivated her to give back. Even though women have made enormous progress in the legal profession, the playing field is not as level as it needs to be, as it can be, as it should be. And I joined together with a number of other phenomenal women, one of whom is my co-honoree this year, Janice Longoria, to found the Center for Women in Law so that the women coming behind us would not face the obstacles and barriers that we have had to face. As a law student at the University of Texas in 1975, Addison made history when she became the first female managing editor of the Texas Law Review. Since her graduation, Addison has volunteered time and time again to support UT. She is a trustee of the University of Texas Law School Foundation. The University of Texas was instrumental to my being where I am in life. I was in Plan 2, and the professors who taught us were absolutely phenomenal. Uh, the classes that I attended in Plan 2 were the equal of classes taught at any college or university in America, and I knew at the time how extraordinary it was. For her passion and service to the university, we proudly present Linda L. Addison, the 2013 Distinguished Alumnus Award.